So fluid samples, fluid analysis for your engine, your transmission, your generator, the coolant. You want to know before you invest or you purchase a unit if you're good to go, if the unit is in healthy condition, if your engine has the capacity to continue a number of miles. In order to do so, we, inspector, will have this kind of tool, so pump, will have this kind of tubing, uh, different kind of size because different orifices that we have to deal with. This will be where your sources of your either freedom or problem will come into the play. So we actually go in there, as Lowell can show you, we go into the machine, we go into the engine, the front, the back, the underneath, the transmission, and we actually use some of those tubes, slide it in there, and attach our little pump to that tube, put our sample, pump some of that fluid in here, and there we go. We put this in there, ship it, and wait three to five to seven days. Is it worth it? Well, the problem that we're having to start with is that if your engine has some wear, normally, like in the trucking industry, what we do is every oil change, 10, 15,000 miles, we will have an oil analysis to see the metal that are in our block, in our engine. If you enjoy our videos, please hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, and make sure to comment C4BO, comment for Blue Ox. The problem with an RV most of the time is that people tell you they, they change the oil or you buy a unit as a, at a dealership that doesn't have the log of the mileage entered into the engine, the transmission, the generator. The generator sometimes will have the hours, but if you had 365 hours, when was it changed the last time? Well, you go on what your seller is telling you or the dealer is telling you. So that's the dilemma of a fluid sample. This is not a guarantee that you have a perfect unit. For example, uh, we'll talk PPM, particle per million. Copper is a big thing in a camshaft because your arms, your connecting arms are hooked up to the camshaft. Those bearings are copper. So we'll have copper reading a lot of time when we know a deficiency is coming or our extra wear is coming. So for instance, if there was half a pound of uh, copper in the bottom of your, your oil pan and the dealer got the unit in or your seller got the unit in, change the oil right away and put it for sale. We go collect the sample and by the time we have this sample, this is brand new oil. The engine hasn't run. There's no copper as it was before. So before probably was 350 ppm. Now we got 30 ppm which is below the rate, so it comes out as a result of normal. It has to have at least a thousand miles on the units to be able to have a verifiable uh, reading on the material, on the iron, on the different material, that the mineral that they, they anal analyze in there. So it's not a safety. It doesn't mean that because you had a test that came back normal or at a level one, let's say, it doesn't mean that you don't have any problem. So always keep in mind, always stay aware that this is a possibility that somebody sneaked on you, like a lot of the inspections that we've done, that we found because people parked them in the back. So good thing that most of the time people don't do an oil change before they sell because they don't want to spend the money. But for instance, a transmission says a lot because a transmission People don't change the oil in the transmission like they do in an engine. So a lot of time we'll have a reading on a severity from one to four, we'll have a one or two on the transmission, which is normal after, let's say 35,000 miles when you should change it at 50. So the level might be a little bit more. So the key in here in this video was for me to try to teach you to do fluid samples as you own your unit. But be consistent with your oil change. Transmission, engine, uh, coolant, we shouldn't change it once a year. 
Who does that? Nobody does. And 99% uh, of every coolant system don't have any distilled water put into the system when they initially do their introduction of, of coolant into the engine. Transmission will give you a good reading. The oil, well, let's hope that it doesn't have 55,000 miles on that Class A because this oil could be, you can see it's left to explanation, to depending on the situation. So there's a lot of variant. I just wanted to say, be consistent. Try to do the fluid sample on a, on a, on a consistent base so you will actually have the real life of your own engine. But if and when you're buying a unit, just remember, this is something that doesn't guarantee you that it's perfect. It gives us a good idea if there was something really bad. And let's say at the last oil change, it was 50, like it was at the last oil change before. And all of a sudden, you got 350 ppm in this one. Something bad's happening. Something is coming. That's the purpose of the fluid sample. You can use it. Don't rely on it. Don't be certain that it is. So it's not a guarantee. That was my point about this video. I hope I clarified a little bit the mysticism around uh, fluid sample in a brief, short 5-10 minutes. Um, but that's the point. Remember, and do never forget, it's not about the destination, it's all about the journey.